Welcome to the .NET Monthly Roundup for June 2023. I'm John Galloway, and I'll bring you all the highlights in just three minutes. Let's start with .NET 8 preview news. In this preview, we've got DI-friendly metrics APIs, some really useful .NET library analyzers, and some cool stuff for performance, including dynamic PGO enabled by default. In ASP.NET updates for this preview, we've got some cool stuff with uh, improved debugger output, uh, also SignalR seamless reconnect, and a first look at the Blazor web app template. This is merging the uh, server and client side rendering. So really, really cool first look at this. In Visual Studio updates, first off, this great post on build acceleration is a really easy way to dynamic or dramatically improve your build times in Visual Studio. Also in this Visual Studio preview, we've got some cool stuff with uh, improved file comparisons, a lot of great stuff for your Git and uh, pull request experience and auto decompilation for external .NET code. Okay, big news for VS Code developers. We've got the C Sharp Dev Kit for VS Code. So that includes a Solution Explorer view as well as IntelliCode. When you're upgrading your applications, uh, you, you've had the .NET Upgrade Assistant as a VS tool. Um, now there's a CLI tool that can help you upgrade your Xamarin and UP, UWP applications. So this is really useful to be able to do this all from the command line. Moving to community, we've got this uh, community blog post from Andrew Locke on source generators for configuration binders. And this is great for both improved performance as well as making your applications more AOT friendly. There's this great community conference from the F Sharp community. This is uh, the F Sharp Conf 2023 all the videos are posted online. You can catch up with those there. Also, as always, the monthly .NET annotated from the JetBrains folks has tons of great information and stuff you can go deeper with for the month. And finally, the uh, .NET Foundation newsletter has some cool news, including results of the .NET Foundation election. Congratulations to Kevin, Mitchell, and Glenn as well as uh, keep an eye for the DNF Summit coming up September 12th. That's it for this month. All the links are in the description below.